King once said that managing a big city was a bit like embroidery. You have to thread your needle, make your neat little stitches, and think of the overall pattern. Both require meticulous planning and implementation. Ten years ago, she was posted here to the cosmopolitan city of Shanghai. And this is our final stop of five in our search for the making of Xi Jinping. His career spanned an impoverished revolutionary base, a culturally rich town, the testing ground for China's opening up and reform and develop provinces. But she was only in Shanghai for seven months. What did he take from his time here? This is Xinhua Special and I'm Helen Bentley. Shanghai has been China's financial hub for years. In 2007, when he was governing the city, she directed financial institutions to promote innovation of financial work and to enhance regulation. Not long after, the subprime credit crisis swept across the globe, making financial regulation a global concern. Behind me is Shanghai's financial district. This famous skyline stands testament to the weight of Shanghai in China's economic landscape. In the early 20th century, the prosperity of Shanghai was a symbol of pride for the Chinese, at a time when the country was suffering economic and political humiliation. Xi often calls on the party to stay true to the mission. But what is this mission? Perhaps the answer can be found in the winding streets of Shanghai. So let's look beyond this modern skyline and see what lies beneath the shadows in the winding streets. This grey brick building in downtown Shanghai in the old French concession was the location of the first ever National Congress of the Communist Party of China. And it was at that Congress, in this very room, that a group of representatives established a party that would go on to be the largest ruling party in the world. And in October, 96 years on, the Communist Party of China will hold its 19th National Congress. So from this tiny room to the vast Great Hall of the People in Beijing, the CPC has weathered the torrents of war and natural disasters to lead more than a billion people from poverty to prosperity. <laughs> Communist Party beliefs have remained strong for almost a century among the party's ever-increasing pool of members, the total of which now stands at almost 90 million. On March 30th, 2007, Xi chose this grey building to make his debut as party secretary of Shanghai. After looking through the exhibits and learning more about that very first party congress, Xi said this great journey of the party, from its initial 13 congress representatives and 53 party members, made him more firmly realise its glorious mission and heavy responsibility. From the rural northwest of China to its coastal south, Xi has developed a deep understanding of his country and its people. From a city boy sent to the countryside to the leader of the world's second largest economy, a common thread has emerged in his political career, and that is his commitment to the people. See you next time.